I'm going to do a project to control my heating using a Raspberry Pi. Now, this guy uh, on one of the blogs, I'll link to it in this uh, description, he's using the same boiler control panel as me. Um, so what I did was order a, an exact replica of the one that I've got upstairs and it was about only about £12. Um, and then what we can do is solder directly onto the board, like he shows here, if you have a look, to control the on and off switch, which is a lot easier than wiring directly into the uh, kind of like the mains uh, to control the, the boiler directly. So this will be quite a, a decent little project, should be relatively simple. Problem I found earlier was just getting into this, it was a bit tricky. Um, so I just thought I'd show you how, how I got in through the back. Oh yeah, there's a little uh, sort of backing plate that fits over the top of here. That was relatively easy. You unscrew it at the bottom, uh, lift it up and pull it out. Pull it out. Um, then each corner is secured here. One there, two at, two at the top here one on the side. So what I found was that if I jammed in a screwdriver here, like one of these flat ones, jammed it in enough, kept it in there and then moved to the next corner, um, that would just pop out just enough to let me get to the next corners uh, and pull those out. And eventually you work your way around and you can lift the, the plate off. And then you get the board. Now this is loose at the moment. I don't want to click it back into place. These these little white clips here need to be pushed in. There's two of them. Need to be pushed in at the same time, but they're really um, they're not easy to push in. No, certainly not with your fingers. You have to use a screwdriver. So I ran the screwdriver in that one. Uh, managed to get it to sort of click into place. Uh, and then I use this little tool here, which is quite handy, and I could flick it un underneath the board and pull upwards with enough force to pop it out. You couldn't quite get a screwdriver down there because the uh, the lip's quite quite deep. <coughs> so using that kind of tool, uh, it's really handy. It just uh, levers it underneath, and then you can really give it a pull pull from underneath and the same on that side and then the board came out and if we have a look that just unclips and then you've got the board and the board is the exact dupe of the one that he's blogged about which makes it very easy to work out the soldering points and follow along with what he did so he's, he's soldered in this corner here with the uh, the switch, and then around in this area to get whether the system is on or not. And I'll not bother with the heating controls. I'm going to let the, the original boiler plate, this one, can do the uh, uh, the heating of the hot water, and the central heating can be controlled by the Raspberry Pi. And that is it for now.